Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with my Persona 4 Golden. Um, I forgot to press record at nighttime, so this is the first line of dialogue that popped up. We're investigating Kanji. Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. <laughs> mess break. Current status in the bathroom fixing his. How would you know he's in the bathroom? The target was acting nervous. Oh, okay, so he saw him go into the bathroom. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't Do high schoolers like, like playing like pretend army mission thing? It's been so long well, since I've been I in high school, I don't remember. Oh, he's here. he's here! Waiting for the dude! For the slender man. The slender young man. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. You did. Forever. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Aw, shy boy. What in the world was that? It was a normal interaction. Anyways, we gotta What's hurry so after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Stake out! Roger that! How should we split the two? Girls and boys! Uh... Chia. I wouldn't mind going with you, but oh, you oh. can go with Yosuke? I can't that go with her. For other reasons. I have to go with Yukiko and it starts the priest oh, man, the social link, I think. Come on, Yosuke! Okay. So I'm pairing up with Chie? Oh okay. well I hope that gives me bounty points with Chie when All I right. wanna get together with we her. Need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Or you could just be hanging out as friends. Uh, you don't have to ears. make it a date. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. Stake out. So we're staking at the shop then? I wonder if those two will be all right. They'll rip each other's throats out before the end. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. It does. Let's go. So. Shall we? <laughs> Sorry, I need to rub my eyes that all of a sudden got itchy. Woo! Aw, she bought me a drink. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Thank you kindly. Oh man, if that's culpis, Everything that would be amazing. Fine the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Um, I doubt it because it's the middle of the day. No worries, I'll protect you. Um, I doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless, but maybe that's for the best. I don't think they'd come in the middle of the day when it's bright and sunny outside. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You be the you distraction, and I will tackle them. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. You can do all the things, Yukiko. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. Oh, because this is her actual first time on I've a mission. She, like she hasn't my age been like with us before. before, and also she's chatting with me. She oh, of boy. course has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality, but I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. Because we're actually mm. nice people. The same is true for me. Yep. Social link. This is why I had to go with you. Go. Then what's the point of giving me a choice? It's not even a real choice that I can make. Yeah. Oh, that means I have to go to the velvet room and pick out a a priestess one too. Did I have another one I needed to take out? Temperance. I still have to take out temperance. I haven't asked her. Ask her straight out. Huh? O okay. If you want. Can't always answer since I oh, I guess honestly end. myself, I would Feel say it's for the investigation because I don't want to seem like a creep. But oh well, tough cookies. Oh, spoke about many things. Nothing happened at the shop. Pretty much uneventful day on our end. You, that looks so weird and Man, so wrong. You guys could just be like walking along yeah, behind them talking about out. stuff. No, I mean them. 
get this weird feeling about them. Shit, why are you crashing down on the ground like that? <laughs> weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. What are you thinking, Chi? Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on you hey, as we speak. Hey, I'm not a greaseball like you. Yeah, no. He's not like exactly. you. Exactly. I am a doesn't gentleman. doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested I in I was, her? in a previous playthrough, but not now. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, hey. Now I'm even more suspicious! You know something Yosuke, you. you know that I picked Chie I in our know. phone it's conversation. Like hanging out that long. Why would you think that I'm hitting on Yukiko? What the hell are you two doing? Uh, Yosuke's a oh, jerk. Well, He's see, not my bro. He doesn't have my back. Crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? What? Play along, bird oh my brain. gosh, Chie, please. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? You're stalking me. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so... <gasps> oh, they were afraid now? of someone younger than them. That's pretty funny. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it what either. What are you trying to say, Chia? S strange. Strange. <laughs> Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Oh, it's because she's a nice, honest whoa, 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 girl. Wait, damn it! It's not like that, dude. Run <laughs> Say what you think. You, you got it all Aww, wrong. Oh, Kanji, you're hey, so freaking you're adorable. Damn it. it seriously ain't like Aww. that. Aww, I can't wait to get him in my party. Ugh. You guys failed on your mission. We regret to inform that our mission failed. How dare you guys? We trusted there you. There was nowhere to hide. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Well. Let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji kun will come home. And then he'll see that Yosuke yeah. and Chi are here and be like, What the hell are you doing? Why do you guys keep following me? Huh? Yep. What are you guys doing here? Yep. You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. <gasps> lovebirds! We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Because something dangerous is what gonna happen going to on? you, man, and we want to prevent that. I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it! What happened? Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Strange? Huh? Strange? What's this strange He's stuff, huh? Strange. Are you saying that I'm strange? Are you Dr. Strange? Uh, no, no, no. Nah, I you don't got any mean... magical powers. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! <laughs> what? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! Oh man. <laughs> Stupid Yosuke, why would you run into a building? You ran away from Kanji as fast as your legs would carry you. Uh, oh, too much running. Too much running? Don't you train for Kung Fu? Also, didn't you say you have well, nothing joined happened a club? Today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. But he's still if here. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let Sooner than down. later. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm white. Bum, bum, bum. Does that mean I have to go into a dungeon soon? It's been a while since I went into the Shadow World. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Whoa! No, she's not ready. I'm tired from everything. How does that make me tired? It's about the same as any other day. Oh shoot, I gotta check the midnight channel, because it's raining. Hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. No problems, dudes. Kanji kun seems to be missing. Uh-oh. I had some calls to make for the end, so I called the textile shop as well. She's dressed so Kanji fancy Kanji for mother, evening time. She told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? I think he's missing! This sounds bad. I think so too. He could be. He could be. It's in the TV! Maybe the Midnight Channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happens. Is the Midnight Channel not on like every night? Sure Does it only happen night. on rainy nights? Talk to you later. 
like in my previous playthroughs, I never bothered to check the TV after I saved the person from the TV world. And I never checked it before I had a new investigation to do because I figured it's going to happen in the story anyway. Why check it myself? Sometimes I'm not curious about things like that. It's just like, okay, whatever the game throws at me, I'll just run with it. Oh, he's in the TV! See something on the screen. The image is clear and sharp. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for bad, bad bathhouse. Oh my god. Tonight I'll introduce a superb site for those searching for some. I love how he voiced Kanji in BC. So funny. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak in report. Because it does not sound like Troy Baker at Goodness all. Gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. <laughs> well then, let's get this show And on that the road. portrait Dude. face is so funny, like the <laughs> weird duck lip thing. <laughs> Kanji is just a adorable little kid. But he will never take the place of Akihiko and let her. Hey, look, I mean... Yes, Kanji's there. It really was Kanji. Huh? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. What in the world was that? It was his TV show. Damn it, it's just what we were afraid of. If only we'd held our ground and stayed there a little longer. Rust out. In any case, that place that was behind him. What do you think it is? A bathhouse. You don't get it because you're a naive no child. Hurry and come up with a plan oh no, this is when we have to start doing the investigations. Gosh darn it. Because all the other dungeons, they were like super easy to get to. Like, he's just like, oh yeah, the person's here. There Even you go. The so far. Kanji's already inside the TV. But this one, we're gonna have to do more work to be able to reach his dungeon. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Yeah, how did the rumors of the Midnight Channel start anyway? At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things. But when I gave it a try, it was real. It's real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. Whoa, no way. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. That means everyone saw Kanji in the TV. Now? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night, it does have to be a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone you guys them to. did it. But if you actually try, it does work. And Can't be that ridiculous once. if you were willing to try doing it. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel, then everyone's gonna see what happens. It to could you. cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right. The missing people themselves create the stuff we see. But it's not their actual so it's not selves, random. it's their inner it's Specifically thoughts. related to whoever goes missing. Mm -hmm. huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. I would hate to remember something um, like that. This might be a little off subject. Especially if I was Yukiko, like seeing how her shadow Everybody's acted in that dress. the shows Ooh. that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Yeah, a he's sec. a creep. I bet he is enjoying it. Sicko. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. That's why we gotta get him. Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total That's why he's sicko. adoring in girls. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Gross. But this Wait, time he threw so in a dude. Saw Yukiko's show. Do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Possibly. Oh, that is it. That killer is dead meat. I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face. Yes. Guys, first we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. Save the killer and save the world. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell. Got it? Oh my gosh. And this really boosts up our rank. And all the other kids sitting in the classroom don't look at Chie just yelling like crazy. And they're just like, ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, Yukiko and her laughing fits. Come on. Chie, those last two were the same thing. That was the point. 
Uh, I know. Oh, Yukiko. You got some interesting quirks about you. I'm getting dizzy again. I don't know what's causing my dizziness, but it really sucks, and it's not from playing hey, Teddy, games. Someone's here, right? Ugh. Oh, I want to play yep. more. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. What the heck? Why do you I not think know? It's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. Why are you so depressed? What's wrong? Not feeling well? I mean, it's been a while since we saw you, well, but I sniff and I sniff. I don't but care I about still that. Can't tell where the smell I don't really want to meet from. you. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've That's been here. That's your senses and your You're usefulness. Begin with, dude. You're useless to me now. Over stuff too much. You're right. Aw, oh, that's actually kind of sad to hear when he actually admits it. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is... Come on, we gotta trouble. save a dude. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. It'll be too dangerous. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling He beats a biker gang. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of it? He wears a jacket over his shoulders. about Kanji, huh? Just I can't really hair. think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some See, sort of See, this is why hit. we need to do something an investigation because really like. we knew... Yosuke knew... Well, Yosuke didn't I really know what Saki was like. Personally. But I guess since he worked with her, he knows like a bit about her. Uh, we all knew about Yukiko. Well, Chie knew especially more about Yukiko. Wow, that's kind of creepy. I never noticed that there's um dots there. Uh, Central Shop Districts, I think. Has clues? I don't really remember the investigation parts of this game. Uh, I hope I don't take too long. Um, you say nothing special. Why couldn't I just go to the north te by teleporting? I think it's because I want to see clues. Um, square and white almond jelly. Okay, thanks. Uh, do you... Nope. Uh, how do we find out Oh wait, his mom! Of course, that's a good place to start. Are you here to ask about Kanji too? Jeez, I wonder where he's wandered off to now. He's always like this. You know, there was a small boy who came in asking about him not so long ago. I talked to him too, but I haven't seen him around lately. What small boy? He decided to search for the boy. What boy? I don't remember talking to a boy. A boy wearing a hat? I don't think he's wearing around here. Oh, the Slender Man! I think I've seen someone like this. Maybe I saw him while I was shopping. Junas! The Slender Man. Huh? Where is he? Been looking for a small boy wearing a hat? He's been hanging around here lately. He even asked me all the stuff about that incident. He was just over there a little while ago. Maybe he'll be back tomorrow? Okay, so I can't do anything then. Am I eating my vegetables? Not really! I hate veggies. <laughs> um. Is the investigation over then? Because. I can't do anything else. We're looking for uh, the kid in the blue hat. Let me talk to you if you go and see if that was it for the investigation. You think we should look for the boy we saw around? Okay, got it. But he won't be back to Junus until tomorrow. Uh, let me try talking to Yosuke. Oh, I get it. Right, let's put up and look around. Uh, I think that's all I can do today. I haven't seen him lately, I'm gonna be back soon. Um, let's try just looking at the riverbank just in case. Misheard lyrics, I was here to kick a puppy. So we gotta find that boy, right? Okay, here I go. But they said he won't be in Junas until... Tomorrow. Okay, so then I'm just gonna 
go to school and try to progress the quest. She's not here. Where the freak are you, girl? I guess that's it when love blossoms. The girl who studies in the library every day? She's not there just to study. Library! Where the hell is the library? Um, the eye is there, but uh... I want to see about the quests. There she is! You're the... It's the girl that mistakenly put a love letter inside your shoebox. Did you read my letter? I haven't read it. I see, thank goodness. Oh, I read it! Did you forget about that? I wrote it anonymously and got this. You got anything else to say? You want to get it? Go away. Nope! No, I messed up! I read it! Do I have to come back to her another day? Gosh, why am I such a screw-up? Uh. Oh well, let's hang out with I since I'm here already. Hey. Or I can't, so I'll just hang out with my sports team buds. Because my investigation team buds are busy with an investigation. Uh -huh. Field's empty today! Woo! Going practice? It isn't ready to advance. Go to practice anyway. What? Oh, because last time I spoke with him, I didn't pick nice answers that agreed totally with them. But those are my honest thoughts. Not all girls are bad. Welcome home! I'm back! Nanako! Um... She's not doing anything. We're gonna get come closer! Monica is pacing back and forth relentless, restlessly. That's late again today. Hello, Doji, my resident. Dad! Huh? huh? Really? Yeah! Okay, I understand. What's happening? Dad's coming home now. I need to get <laughs> dinner ready. Monica's in high spirits. Are we out of food? Of pickled radish. Dad'll be disappointed. Um, he'll live. Uh, I'll go buy some. But he only likes the one from Juna's. Oh, then I'll go too. She's excited. <laughs> We're going shopping together. Monica looks happy. <gasps> Rank up. Yes, three with Nanako. Let's go, okay, she voiced that herself. I went to Junis with Nanako a while later at the house. I'm back. What up? Dad, welcome home. Where did you go at this time of night? Oh, uh, Junis. Did I tell you not to go outside this late? But you were coming home, so I... No matter what your reason was, rules are rules. You promised me, remember? You also promised we would go somewhere for Golden Weekend. You broke it! Nanako looks sad. It's not her fault. I, I was the one who said I was going to go shopping anyway. It's not my fault? Then why is Dad angry? Why won't he listen? Because he's a jerk! Dad's stupid! Stupid, stupid! Yeah, he is. He's not the per most perfect parent in the world. Nanako, how dare you call your father stupid? Yeah, you sh kids shouldn't call their parents stupid, but she was upset. She just wants to do something nice for you. Pickled radish? For me? Is that so? <sighs> Go apologize to your daughter! But I still can't allow kids to be walking around this late at night. You know how dangerous it's been lately. You shouldn't be wandering around out there at night either. Dojima yelled at me too. Well, there goes dinner. Thanks for making the night ruined! Yo. What up? According to the weather report, we won't have to worry about the fog for a while. Just keep cool like usual. We can save the day and still keep our sails sharp. That's a good plan. Yeah, it's not like... It's not going to do anyone any good if we get anxious. Let's be sure to use the time we have until the next foggy day to our advantage so we can save him for sure. 
I'm just gonna do it right away. As soon as I find this dungeon, boom, go through it. <gasps> Exams are- exam results are out. Awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? I better be number one. Better be number one. I'm freaking genius. Oh, excuse me. Am I? Am I? Come on. I got the highest score. I know I'm a genius, Yosuke. My social status all maxed out. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I got the highest grade myself. Woo! I got closer to my school friends. That reminds me, I need to pick up personas. Who wants to hang out with me? Sports club! I don't want to read the random lines of dialogue in the middle because... Music club! Because it doesn't seem that important to the story anyway. It's just saying, hey, let's hang out. Be my friend. I'm sorry, but the investigation awaits. Um, and I need to see if that uh, quest girl is out there. Quest girl! So, you really didn't read it, right? I read it. How could you, you jerk? I didn't even have the courage to sign it, and yet a totally random person now knows my secret. What's the point of trying to be secretive anymore? I've already embarrassed myself this much, I might as well go confess. How do you like that? I like it very much. <laughs> Maybe you should ask her how her confession went. It went terribly! So before I head off to Junus to um, see if Slender Young Man is there, I'm gonna stop by the Velvet Room. Oh! It's just you! Something is different from usual. I don't see Igor or Marie! Oh. That was kinda creepy. Excuse me. Do you have any business here? Yes. Mm. As you can see, my master is currently away. Where did he go? If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, I need personas. Give me the compendium. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Ooh, secret rendezvous? With a classy Welcome to lady? the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. You already said that the very first time. I am the met. one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. Oh. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. Wait, what? The Velvet Room okay. is inseparable. Oh, from because the Igor's always been the there guest. in Persona One and Two. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master. Based on the number of guests and their destiny. Interesting. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. Chat about what? Feel a faint bond forming. Woo! Empress Arcana. I'll do Empress all the way at the end because I want to have space in my persona list for um, Arcanos, Arcanos that I'm currently leveling up. I'll just do this before the last dungeon or something. Seems you have several social links already. Recurring meetings, recurring words. By deepening your understanding of one another, your bonds strengthen. But sometimes the heart is shaken more by a single action than a thousand words. Do you understand? Somewhat. Yep. Actions. Sometimes actions speak louder than words. Today's meeting might be classified as that single action. I've decided. The strand of fate you follow. Entangle me within it as well. Oh, entangle. Perhaps a new bond will be spun. There's something I have wanted to know, and you are the first guest I welcomed here. In light of today's meeting with my master absent, hmm, I believe we are both special to one another. Margaret is smiling. I want to know more about you. First, I think I shall have you show me your rare persona ability. Let me see. Show me an Ippon Tatara that knows Tsukukaja. The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Have you already forgotten? No? You just told me that like a second ago. Hmm. Then I have something to look forward to. I wish you well. I wish oh, she actually said that line, but I skipped it. 
I don't know when they're going to talk and when they're not going to talk. Hopefully Igor is back. Hey, they're all back. Uh, check compendium. I needed a priestess. Who's my strongest priestess? Scott, Scott back. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't think I have anyone with Gabba yet. And Temperance. Temperance. I'll just get off Saras. I don't have any more room? What? Do I already have certain personas? Uh, let's see. Death. Fool. Justice. Chariot. Magician. Ah, death. Strength. Sun. Aeon. Just- I already had a justice and I took out a justice. Well, time to get rid of him. Hierophant. Priestess. Okay. Actually, I'll dismiss Angel. Because I spent money. No! Equip. Uh, dismiss. Dismiss. Yes. And, uh, he's an ugly, sorry, but, um, you gone. Uh, so I need Temperance. And I don't think I started anyone else. And friend. Yep. Maybe I shouldn't start anyone. I could start one more new link before I run out of space. Um, leave the shop. So I guess I could start Empress now too. Hey, young man, are you here? Young man, is there something you need? Many people from the town come up and meet here. It's a very convenient location, isn't it? Wasn't this the boy who met with Kanji some time ago? He may know something about Kanji. You're asking if anything seems strange when I spoke to Kanji-kun, yes? Hmm, very well. It seems to be an urgent matter, so I'll simply tell you. If you're asking about recent events, then yes, there was something out of the ordinary. There was something I felt when I was with him, so I told him outright that he seemed to be an odd person. After I said that, his expression changed all of a sudden. I was quite surprised. On that basis, I believe his actions were somewhat forced and unnatural throughout the time I was with him. He may have some sort of complex, though I have no proof of this. It seems Kanji has a complex or something of that nature. Kanji's purported reaction to the phrase, odd person. Maybe this is enough of a clue for Teddy to go on. Yay! Food court. All your friends? Yes. I know you guys wanted to hang out with me, but... Duty calls! Whoa, something's here. The fox! A, a fox? When did it? He's sitting next to me. Foxes are Whoa, pretty sneaky, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just Dude, sneaked it looks up scary to us. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. How would you know? Huh? Curious with leaves? Magic leaves. Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So we want money in exchange for fixing us up? Hey, he wants to fix up the shrine. It's not as he wants it for What's his own selfish guy? reasons. It acts like it understands what we're talking about. He's a smart fox. I never it's noticed that again. Apron had hearts Maybe on it. He really does understand what we're saying. But, but when you think about it, that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox, right? He knows how to if hide. He followed after us, then it really is something. Can't everyone heal? Ah, hear its yelping. You think it really it's understands crying. us? What should we do? Use the fox. You know, I'd feel bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. Seriously, he's just sitting there, think? all chill. Let it help. Take all yeah. the help you could get. And thinking about what happened at the shrine, don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? <gasps> no way. What? Are you suggesting? We take it into that other world? Yes. Hmm. He's a magical fox. Mm, I guess that might work. It doesn't he seem is like not he's a going tame to leave that fox. easily either. And I definitely don't want it Little being all prince. sulky and mm. getting up to mischief in the store. <laughs> I'm gonna take it into the other world. Let's go in, see more. Uh, enter the TV. Mm -hmm. Let's I don't go. need to check my situation. Situation's all normal. Teddy, I got clues for you! Any clues? You found some. I'm gonna save just in case. Wow, I'm still only level 16, that's crazy. Oh, you found
found out more about Kanji. I did. Uh huh. A complex. Um. Th that's it. That's all I have to go on. You're working That's all me the, the game stuffing. gave me. Oh well. Then I'll open my nose up real wide. He and lives in a textile hard. shop. Hmm. That's another clue. Oh, I think I found something. It feels like our target. Is this it? Follow me. This is it. Hey, we're at the bathhouse. Yeah. I forget the music for this dungeon, but I remember liking it. It's awfully muggy. Is it just me, or does the fog here seem kind of different? It's a steamy fog. Fogging up. Man, it's hot in here. This place is like a. It says man on the sign. Come here, pussy cat. Oh, such well-defined pecs. Handsome voice? How do how are voices handsome? There's no need to be scared. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Uh <laughs> now just relax. Oh my gosh. Wait a sec, I don't wanna go. You gotta go. Do it! Is Kanji can really hear Teddy? Of course, didn't you yeah, see no, what he no. was wearing in the Midnight Channel? This is where he ran into. We're really going into here? I can already feel the sweat rolling down my back. If they're gonna be in a bathhouse, maybe that I should change their costumes. So like, I have everyone dressed in the Velvet Room outfits, but I like dressing up my characters for either the, the season or the atmosphere of the dungeon. And since this one is hot... <laughs> uh, what should I do? Swim... Where is it? Bath towel? Or cool trunks? Bath towel, come on. Um, bath towel for you too. Sadly, no bath towel for girls. Instead, we have their... Swimsuits. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'll start doing his dungeon next time around because I know if I go in and start with all cutscenes, it's just gonna get longer, and I just want to finish this dungeon in one go. I'm actually gonna go back, go back and save. And then next time we can see all the crazy clothes that we're wearing. All right. I can't wait to finish that dungeon and get my next party member. That's all for next time, so stay toasty.